down on the very bottom shelf here is an absolutely incredible piece. If this is what I think it is, it was made in the late 1800s and it's worth a few hundred dollars. Let's turn it over and see if it's marked. Hello everyone, it's Tiffany with Thrifting Vegas. I shop at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales and discount stores for items I can resell for profit on online platforms like eBay, Poshmark and OfferUp. It's Tuesday afternoon and I am headed to my favorite Goodwill at Rainbow and Cheyenne here in Las Vegas. And I have another special guest today, not to be outdone by her brother, my gorgeous daughter Miley is with us. Hi. Did you hear what your brother wants to do? Yeah, he wants to sell um, on your whatnot. Would you like to do that as well? Yes, please. That sounds really fun. What are you going to look for? I'm going to look, I really like those little bluebirds of happiness and I also love the glass animals. Oh, good idea. That sounds like a plan. They always yeah. sell really, really well. What are we going to do? Let's, Let's go, thrifting. go thrifting. We will see you there. We are here at the Goodwill at Rainbow and Cheyenne. It's a bit chilly today, about 54 degrees, and it's been really, really windy. So we have to remember, Mai, to see what the color of the day is. Let's see. It looks like it's orange. Can you see? Let's go thrifting. Hey Mario! The one you don't How want are to you? Guys. How are you? We have our cart. The color tag of the week is orange. All items with an orange tag are 50% off. And our question of the day is Are the items I see you thrift in your videos available for sale? If so, how can I buy them? And what platforms do you sell on? The items you see me thrift are available for sale. If you watch right to the end, in each and every one of my videos, I do a haul where I show you the items I have found and purchased. I tell you a little bit about each one, how much I paid for it, and how much I expect to get for it. If you see something you would like to buy, please send me an email at thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. The items that don't sell directly from my haul at the end of the videos, I either list up on eBay or put them in my whatnot sales, which I have most Sundays at 2 p.m. Pacific time. If you're not signed up with whatnot, please use my code on the screen to get $15 to spend anywhere on their site. Here we are in the hard goods, having a look. The shelves are quite full and they seem to have restocked with items we haven't seen before. So let's see what we can find. I'm lifting everything up to make sure I don't miss anything. This is a nice wall pocket, but unfortunately it's really, really damaged on the leaves there. Down here is something that takes me right back to my childhood. It's a matted art print of Alice in Wonderland, Alice's conversation with the Cheshire Cat. It's only $2. It's a lovely illustration, so I'm absolutely going to take that with me. Lots of dolls down here on the bottom. Some bowls and baskets on top. It's a little flying pig, decorative. He's got some damage to him, sadly. That is a little florist's vase. What else can we find? Some candlesticks here. These are just inexpensive glass pieces. Some candles. Oh, look at these. They're really fun. They look like the Serta mattress sheep. 
<laughs> oh, Sean the sheep, I can't decide. Miley has found some too. She has some white ones over there. There's three of them in different sizes. And I've got a pair of little black sheep here. They're $5 and $4. I think we should get the whole flock, My, Let's pop them in the cart. Miley has got the Thrifting Vegas blanket already spread out. And uh, let's... Perfect. What else have you got, Miley? She's got a little miniature ewer there. A little uh, pouring pitcher, but unfortunately it's got really uh, badly chipped on the spout. It's 69 cents, probably only about an 8 to $12 piece. So I think we'll leave that, but really good find on the sheep. They're lovely. Well done. I'm ever so sad about the chip on this gorgeous pink Federal Madrid glass plate. But unless those are in perfect condition, they're a really hard sell. This looks a little bit like recycled glass in amber. When, when I pick it up, it's really, really lightweight. Just doesn't feel right. Um, just an inexpensive glass plate. Lots more dolls on the bottom here. Down on the very bottom shelf here is an absolutely incredible piece. If this is what I think it is, it was made in the late 1800s and it's worth a few hundred dollars. Let's turn it over and see if it's marked. It is early Capa de Monte with the old fashioned crown. It says Dresden. It is a gorgeous piece of Dresden lace. The detail on these faces is absolutely unbelievable. I'm just checking it over to see if there's any damage. There is a little bit, but it's still a gorgeous piece. Up above the Dresden lace are a couple of plates that I am willing to bet came from the same collection. Look at the artwork on these pansies. The piece itself isn't marked, but they are both signed by the artist. I'm guessing these are pieces that uh, historical ladies would have sat around together and painted. The colors are fantastic. I'm so excited. Let's pop these in the cart carefully. I'm a little nervous about these plate hangers because they tend to chip the plates, but so far, so good. They look to be in lovely condition. Let's keep going. That's quite pretty, but uh, in rough condition. I think it's got some water damage under the glass there. There's uh, Miley's ewer that she put back. Look at these little ducks. I think that's a project piece. Really sweet. It looks like it should be part of a train, a little set there, but it's just a single. There is another little jug. Again, some damage on. That's a birdhouse. I'm guessing that might be Big Lots or the dollar store. It's a little decorative piece. A nativity scene. Look at this wall hanging. Octopods. It looks like it came from the Encyclopedia Britannica reprint. Quite fun. Up here we've got some hurricane shades and candle holders. A little bit of Christmas back here. Some Target dollar spot owls. That's a cactus lamp. What's this little house back here? I think this is another it's a decorative contemporary little house. Fourth of July theme, very patriotic. More candle holders and figurines. I think these are Avon, Avon trinket plates. Oh, look at these. Harley Davidson, an excellent bolo. Be on the lookout for Harley Davidson pieces. I think these are fuel caps. They are in the packet. There's two of them, $15 a piece. But I think I'm going to pay up for these because I am guessing these are probably about $50 pieces. 
I'm going to pull out my phone here and just do a quick search. I can show you. Let's do a Google search with our little camera there. We'll push the button. It frames your piece. Tap the shutter button to take a picture and then it's going to bring up uh, matches from across the internet. Make sure you get the whole piece uh, to get an accurate match. Let's see, fuel caps. That looks like it there. Let's click into that and have a look on eBay. It's Skull Console Fuel Door. I think that goes in the middle of the bike on the seat. Ooh, $79, no longer available sold or well, that tells me all I need to know <laughs> for $15 a piece I think we will pop both of those into our cart let's keep going here we're in the figurines and knickknacks oh I love these little lion cubs the vibrant yellow color is gorgeous only 99 cents a piece let's take those here are some bunnies not crazy about the expression on their faces <laughs> <laughs> some Christmas bits oh look at these Native American pieces this lady's gorgeous the detail of her face is super and this one is a limited edition I can just see the underlying number there it's five dollars um, let's see this little girl is sweet too I think we'll pick up all three of those Native American pieces they sell really well for me I absolutely love Russ berry. These are Russ berry ducks, ceramic with um, sort of bean bag stuffed bodies. This is a little miniature bell, looks like the old school bells. And somebody has donated their entire bell collection down here. This one is Westmoreland. Uh, sadly, bells really don't sell very well for me. So I am going to leave all the rest of these on the shelf for somebody else. There's a divided dish back here. It's got a tinge of color. So I'm going to grab my black light and see if there's any uranium in there to make it glow. No, that is just a vintage plate. Oh, what's this back here? Little frame. The Old Curiosity Shop by Charles Dickens. Absolutely classic author from England. It's 69 cents on half price sale, 35 cents. That has to be the deal of the day. Absolutely lovely. I almost missed this amazing piece of artisan stained glass. It's a hot air balloon. Look how incredible this is. The blue with the white. That was actually the back. I've turned it over and it's sort of an iridescent pinky purpley color with the hanging basket. And my favorite part is the patterned metal around the edge. And the treasures are keep on coming up here on the very top is Pierre the pig. I think this is a William Sonoma piece and he originally held a sign uh, either welcoming people in or um, advertising the day's menu. <laughs> I believe he's $15. So he is a no brainer. Let's keep going on the shelf here. Sadly, a Christmas tree canister with no lid. This duck is a bit worse for wear. The paint is all cracking. Oh, he is a project piece. Very nicely done. Oh, she is a project piece. But with that damage, I'm going to have to leave her. Little empty box. Always check the boxes. You just never know. This looks almost like a treasure craft piece, but very, very damaged. The wings of the butterflies are broken. Very sad. Little trinket box here. Again, petals are damaged on the roses. So uh, I'm going to have to leave it on the shelf little wine plaque two dollars I have several of these in my inventory so I am going to leave this one it is a little scuffed as well on there 
You can actually use peanut butter to take scuffs out of plastic. It minimizes um, the appearance of uh, scuffs. Little world market ring holder. Quite crude, an expensive piece. I'm going to leave that. Some little fairies down here. They look like cake toppers almost. Although I am going to leave this ring holder on the shelf because it's only about an eight to $10 piece, I do want to mention that pieces with birds on them are really popular at the moment. They sell quite well for me. So if you find one that's of good quality, do go ahead and pick it up. Down here is a Disney advent calendar. It has ribbon closure and it looks like there's a Disney storybook for each day of Advent. It's $6, so I'm going to pop this underneath my cart and look it up on eBay to see what its resale value is. Lots of seasonal items on the shelf, some pumpkins and ribbon, some fruit decor and Easter picks. Let's see, some wreaths, cards, plaques, and up here is, what is this? Looks like a Christmas stocking holder. I have just noticed a pottery finish that I recognize. This is Harlequin by an English company called Denby. It's really, really nice quality. They only want $3 for it. Denby Harlequin Holly, it says. The Harlequin comes in a crimson, green, and two shades of blue. It's absolutely lovely. And uh, I recommend that if you ever find it, you pick it up. These are some little Japanese lusterware saucers, quite pretty. They don't sell ever so well um, if you can't find the cups or bowls to go with them. Oh, look at this. This looks like RS Prussia, really old piece. Oh, it's actually Saxe Altenburg. It's still beautiful. Let's pop that into our cart. I love the colors. Here's a beautiful pair of amber glass candlesticks. They're two different heights. This one is $5. I don't see a price on the shorter one, but I would guess it's $4. As many of you know, I absolutely love amber glass. It's my favorite color. So we are definitely going to pick these up. Out of interest, I took a look online to see if I could find the maker of these candlesticks and they're made by Robert Stanley. We're looking at a pair here that have been sold on Etsy for $45. Here we are in the mug section, having a look to see if we can find anything worth picking up. To thine own self be true. That is excellent advice. I'm trying to be really, really picky with mugs. I have quite a few uh, in my inventory and a whole shelf available in my booth at the Good Stuff Thrift Store. The mugs in my booth, I'm actually running a 25% off sale on. So if you are in Vegas or visiting Vegas, do come down to the store and take a look in my booth. I have just noticed some Starbucks mugs. They're purple tag and they look as if they've just been put out today. I love that they're a matching pair. They're holiday themed, holly and mistletoe and uh, really lovely color. Very girly these are. They're $3 a piece, which is unusual. They usually mark the Starbucks mugs up quite a bit. I really like these. They look to be in perfect condition. So we will definitely pop these into the cart and keep going to see if we can find any more. It's always good to have a set of mugs if you can. Oh, look at this set. 
These are a drip glaze. At first glance, I thought they might be pottery, but they uh, are actually Coffee de Vita, Cafe de Vita and mass produced, not worth a whole lot. So we're going to leave those. We'll keep going on the shelf. Quite a lot to see, as you can tell. That one is a trophy mug. Some plastic mixed in. As I said, I'm being ultra picky in the mugs because I do have a lot in my inventory. They're not selling ever so quickly at the moment and uh, shipping on mugs is high. Here's another Starbucks mug. This is the White Mermaid. I've sold these before. Um, this is the taller style, so I'm going to pick that one up. And down here are another couple of tall Starbucks mugs. These are the Christmassy ones. And I've looked these up recently. I know there are quite a few listed, not many sold, but I am gonna give it a double check just to make sure I don't want to pick them up. We are here in the kitcheny bits. Look at this lovely little hen on the nest salt and pepper shaker. She's got a pink headscarf and she has a ball of knitting. She's in lovely condition, only $2. So we will take her with us. Some nesting bowls and mugs. Stacks of plates down here on the next shelf. It just goes to show that you should always look in every section, every aisle of your thrift store because you never know where items are going to end up. Sometimes they're overflow from aisles that are full. Sometimes people have something in their cart and they just put it down anywhere they are. So don't miss out because you don't cover every aisle. Lots of clear glass here. Godfather's pizza carafe. It's a punch bowl. Some trays. It's a modern piece. Bakers and coffee pots. Containers. Little bowls here. Up here we have a little dog shaker. Just a single, single piece. He's a bit chipped up so we'll leave him. Checking the top shelf. Two soup bowls here. These are made to look old, I think. They're not marked on the bottom. If you're enjoying the video, it would mean the world to me if you could give it a thumbs up, drop a comment below, and subscribe to my channel with the little red button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. This picture has a Royal Hager look to it. It is chipped on top and it is a modern reproduction. Very nice lines though. More bowls down here. Oh, look at these placemats. They're cats. And this pair looks like my two, my black and white bandit and my tabby Ziggy, which if you stay to the end of the video, I always give a little snippet of. They're oversized. They are $6.99, but they are perfect to pop down the middle of your table for um, serving dishes. More glass over here, lots of bakers, serving trays, a pizza paddle under there. This back here is a dansk piece. Be on the lookout for these. The crisscross handle gives them away. Can you see that there, dansk? It is a little bit worse for wear, but these are a vintage design. 
They have a pouring spout, wooden handle, and I would guess at least $35 to $50 value on this. Let's have a look on my phone. We will do a Google search. Here we go. We've got Google Lens up. We're going to push the little button and take a picture. It will bring up similar search results from across the World Wide Web. Let's see. Yes, similar styles. Goodness. Do you see these prices? Up in the hundreds of dollars here. I don't even have to look any further. I'm absolutely going to pick this up. It's six dollars a no-brainer let's keep going on the shelf here I'm going to keep an eye out to make sure uh, there aren't any more of that style dance cooking pots it would be fantastic if we could find more in the set Back here is a gorgeous yellow vintage plate, the Madrid pattern. We saw a pink one uh, in my last video. This one is lovely. It's $4, but sadly there is a chip on the rim and that is going to reduce its value to where it's just not worth me picking it up. In perfect condition, I would grab it in a heartbeat. We'll keep going here to see what else we can find. Scouring the top shelf all the way at the back. We are in the travel mugs now and the odds and ends. Back here is, I believe it's paper bag, brown bag company. These are cookie molds. This is especially for shortbread. Now I've seen the thistle one of these that sell quite well. I've not seen this wildflower pattern. So we are going to have a look online again. Google Lens will take our picture and see what comes up. Okay, the thistle one on the left there, 37. And the one we have, it looks like it's 20 to 25. So based on that, I think I am going to leave uh, the $25 cookie mold because I have a feeling it's going to cost more than $8 to ship. We are in the pots and pans scouring the shelves to see if we can find any more of the dark brown dansk with the crisscross lid that are worth in the hundreds of dollars. Here's a Wilton mini bunt pan. Muffin pans and keepers. Not sure what, oh, I think that might be a shower caddy. Mugs over here. Oh, what is that back there? This is enamel on copper. It's really interesting that it's a lid, possibly a canister. I know I wouldn't have missed a canister that is enameled copper. They're absolutely fantastic. The lid does have a little bit of damage, but that does not deter me. This is amazing too. Look at this. It's made in Italy. Silver tone rooster trivet. $2. You've probably heard me say before, roosters are great subject matter at the moment really really popular do pick up anything of good quality that features a rooster this last shelf is odds and ends and utensils some recipe cards there 
more molds. Oh, this is a roll of brown paper. Three dollars, excellent for packing and shipping. Uh, so we will grab that, pop it under the cart. I decided against the Disney advent calendar, uh, just not selling for enough to make uh, listing and shipping something that large worthwhile. Oh, I thought those were glass. They are plastic. We are here in the vases, planters and florals having a look. The first section is clear glass, but some colored pieces have migrated over. Let's see. Oh, look at this shell here. Shells are getting harder and harder to find and more and more expensive. I'm not sure what this is. It might have been used as an incense uh, stick holder with the hole in the top as you saw there for four dollars we will absolutely take that these are candle holders i believe let's see lots of florist pieces i am on the lookout for anything vintage anything made in usa this is a big lots fellow a penguin he is eight dollars. Oh, look at this fishing stuff. We go fishing every summer to Navajo Lake in Utah. We fish for trout. I metal detect. It's really a lovely time. And this year we'll be taking both dogs with us. So it should be an amazing adventure. And I will definitely bring it to you on video. This is a gorgeous vase. I absolutely love the two-tone. It looks like a black and white cookie. For uh, those of you who are from the East Coast, I know you know what I'm talking about. We'll grab that. Let's just keep going for a sec and see if we can find anything else. There's nobody else in this aisle at the moment. So uh, I am safe to leave that on the shelf just for a second. Always check vases that have floral arrangements in them. You never know. They might be vintage. I have found uh, Royal Hager. I have found all sorts of gorgeous, gorgeous pieces that got looked over uh, by shoppers just because they already had flowers in. Some vase fillers, fall floral pieces. Here is an elephant. Poor fellow is terribly damaged. Miley, he is heavy, my love. Can you hold him? He has really broken tusks, unfortunately. He's made of resin and he also has a repaired ear. So we are sadly going to leave him on the shelf and make our way into the metals. First is the silver tone. Ooh, this has an American brilliant look, but it isn't. It's not sharp enough. The cuts in the glass are smooth, and that's how you tell that it's a reproduction. With American brilliant, it almost feels like your fingers are going to get cut if you run them over the glass. More vases, hurricanes, and terrariums. Let's see wine rack here it's a little cat key holder not ever such good quality these so we'll leave them on the shelf silver plated fruit bowls these are vintage they don't sell for very much though what is in this baggie here let's see not really sure what those are. They just, they look to be some resin relics. This is an interesting piece. Decorative pagoda, is it maybe? They are asking $10 for it and it is a bit damaged. 
but I will look it up on eBay just to learn what it is and how much it sells for. So I am knowledgeable in the future. We are in the black tone metals. Lots of sconces, bookends, wire baskets. Here is another elephant really, really damaged. He's missing his whole face, poor baby. Lots of racks and odds and ends. I'm browsing through the lamps. And Miss Miley over here is investigating an easy bake oven. There are two actually. Actually, there are three, two more modern ones. And then the third one in, with the blue front is actually more vintage. I think you had one like that, didn't you, Miley? Is the bulb in it? These are frequently missing the bulb, but they are replaceable. <laughs> it's been a while since you had that, hasn't it? She's having a look to see if the bulb is there. It's not. Let's keep going into the frames. The small frames and pictures are first. Let's see if anything jumps out at us. As I always say, oh, what's this? This is interesting. This looks like a hand colored lithograph with some or, uh, artist information on the back. From Huntington Beach, close to my heart, that is where my parents live. So we'll take that. And as I always say, if you need small frames, do check out your local thrift store. You can often get exactly what you need for a song because frames can be quite expensive. The bigger art is over here. Oh, that looks like a vintage piece. Lovely still life piece. And uh, what sells me is the fantastic paper and uh, wire on the back showing its age. Let's flip through a few more pieces here. Some advertising, empty frames, mirrors. That one has some damage to the sun rays. Did you find anything? That's an original piece mixed in with some commercially produced canvases. Let's have a peek at the furniture as we do chairs and tables chest of drawers here that one has a Scandinavian look to it the carving on the front I think it is made to look older than it is it's not dovetailed in the drawers really big and heavy piece Look at this amazing floral sculpture. 
This looks like the pieces they put in uh, the center of our streets here in Las Vegas. They have amazing metal art. Just lovely. We are passing through the shelves a second time to make sure we didn't miss anything. And look at these amazing carved wooden oars. They're absolutely spectacular. They would be fantastic on the wall. $8 a piece. So we are definitely going to grab these. Really, really unique and interesting. We'll pop them in the cart. If you would like to purchase an item you see in my haul, please email me at thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your address, the item, and the price I mention. If it's available, I will send you an emailed invoice. As you saw, I had yet another really successful Goodwill shopping trip. And I have had to bring my haul down to the dining room table to give us enough room to look at it all. Ziggy is here inspecting the merchandise as usual. What do you think, Ziggy? Oh, yeah? All right, well, let's get started. This lid is enamel on copper. It's absolutely gorgeous. We were really hoping to find the pot that goes with it, but sadly, not on that trip. We're keeping our fingers crossed that uh, in an upcoming trip, it will actually surface on the shelves. It does have a little bit of damage. As you can see there, the enamel has chipped off, but it's still a really, really lovely piece. The uh, enamel is just gorgeous colors, the blue with the green and orange. Absolutely lovely. Next, we have here a little stack of artwork. And uh, the first one is this piece from Alice in Wonderland. It's Alice and the Cheshire Cat. It's uh, a matted, I believe it's a page from a book. Lovely, lovely piece. Paid $2 for it. And I shall ask... $15. Next we have a piece by California artist M. Maxson. I love these uh, little explanatory uh, cards that uh, sometimes are on the back of artwork giving a history of the artist and their experience. This is a hand watercolored offset lithograph. I paid $3.99 for it. It's a lovely little rocking horse with a toy chest, signed, perfect for a nursery, lovely wood frame there, uh, and I am going to ask $25 on that one. We'll set that over here. Next we have a vintage piece of artwork. I don't believe this to be original, but I do love the way it's framed with the paper and the vintage wire there. Nice vintage original sticker. Illinois Molding Company, uh, Windsor Art Products with the number there. I paid $2 for it and uh, I am going to ask $25. This is probably one of my favorite finds of the day. It's an absolutely stunning assembled stained glass hot air balloon. And my favorite part about this is the edging of the stained glass here. Absolutely lovely. It goes down to the basket at the bottom. Blue with iridescent pink and white flag on the top. 
I paid six dollars for it and this is such a unique piece I value it between 75 and a hundred dollars next we have these gorgeous cat um, placemats they are oversized really quite large and each one is a different pair of cats I'll flip through quickly so you can see them all oops there are four of them I love the one on the top because it looks like my two Ziggy and Bandit together I paid six dollars for them and uh, I am going to ask $45. Next we have our humongous Pierre the pig here. I think he originally came with a board, a sign, probably to uh, advertise the day's menu there. He is really fabulous. I paid up for him. I believe I paid $15 on him. And uh, online similar pieces are between $50 and $75. Next we have this fantastic vase. It reminds me of a black and white cookie from a New York deli. Really, really fun. White glass and smoke glass. I paid $5 for it and I shall ask $25. Next, we have this lovely pair of Starbucks mugs. I think these are quite festive. They have holly berries and mistletoe on them all around. Here is the Starbucks logo in gold. I paid $3 a piece for these, uh, and I am going to ask $30 for the pair. Here we have a uh, Roman chariot gladiator in his little carriage with his horses it says Roma on it quite a vintage piece I believe probably an Italian souvenir I paid ten dollars for it and these are, are online uh, right around fifty dollars These shells are getting harder and harder to find, so I always pick them up when I find them. This is a conch shell, and it has a Heritage Square Antique Mall sticker in it. It does have this hole, possibly um, a stand for incense, but you could use it just as a display if you wanted. I paid $4, and... Uh, I shall ask between $25 and $30 for that. Be on the lookout for these. This is a Dansk cooking pot and uh, the, the crisscross handle is especially desirable. This one has um, a wooden handle on the pot. It has a spout for pouring. Let's see if I can show you the mark. It says Danske Designs France and the um, model number there. I paid $6 for it and I value this right around $50. This is an Italian silver tone trivet. It has a rooster on it and I know you always hear me say roosters are really, really popular. They are still popular, ever so trendy. So uh, if you find a nice quality piece with a rooster on it, be sure to pick it up. This one was $2, stamped made in Italy. And uh, this I value right around $25. Miley found this lovely collection of sheep. There are three white ones and two black ones. I did pay up a little bit for these um, between... I think the big one was $7.99, we've got $5.99, $4.99, another $4.99 and $3.99, but they're so fun. Absolutely lovely in a little flock here. <laughs> so um, I would probably value all of them right around $100 as a set. 
This is a little picture. It's um, the old curiosity shop by Charles Dickens, the classic book. Oops. It's a little square frame. You can see it's still in its plastic. It was on sale, so I only ended up paying 35 cents for this lovely, lovely piece. I was lucky enough to find these three Native American figurines here. The quality is absolutely lovely, especially love the detail on this lady's earrings and headband, little polka dots. She, I believe, is a project piece. Uh, she has Regina on the bottom, so somebody did a lovely, lovely job on her. This little girl is super too. She is not marked, but she has a tiny, oh, I didn't notice, didn't notice that her little feather at the back of her head is broken off, but she's still lovely. Baby in a papoose back there as well as this lovely figurine he also has a little baby this one is a collector piece i believe let's see if i can show you the mark it's american heritage limited edition it actually oh, i think what happened was the sticker came off on top of the price tag so i will see if i can salvage that it is a limited edition, as you can see, and I think that says, what does it say? Maybe 800 820 possibly. Okay, we'll see if we can salvage that. I'm really not sure of the value of this, uh, but I expect it to be right around $35. This here is a Westmoreland glass bell. Beautiful pink painted flowers there. Actually, I think that might be transferware. Transferware flowers, the original sticker. It has its dongle intact. I paid $2 for it and I value it at $25. Candlesticks sell really, really well for me. And as many of you know, I'm a huge fan of amber. So I jumped on these. I paid $4.99 for the tall one, $3.99 for the shorter one. And uh, I expect to get $45 to $50 for the pair. This lady is carved out of stone. I believe she is Kenyan. Beautiful craftsmanship. I love the texture of her dress there. I paid $4 for her and I expect to get $25 to $30. Look at the faces on these two. Fun little ducks. They're absolutely fabulous. This one has a little sunflower hat and this one in yellow and she's holding a sunflower. Uh, they have their original tags, their raspberry pieces. I paid $3 a piece for them. And uh, we have to keep them together, right? So I am going to ask $30 for the pair. Next, we have these two little lion cubs. Absolutely gorgeous yellow. Look at the color used. It's fantastic. And these are marked Love, Love Heather. So they are project pieces. Heather, I love you. 1990. That doesn't seem that long ago, but uh, it actually is. <laughs> Showing my age here. I paid a dollar each for these two. And uh, I am going to ask $25 for the pair. Another be on the lookout for are um, these little roosters or hens on nests. Actually, anything on a nest. Bunnies on nests, uh, roosters, chickens sell really, really well. 
This is a salt and pepper. And the fun thing about this is she's actually knitting. She's got knitting needles, knitting and a ball of wool. She's sitting on her nest with a little headscarf. Salt and pepper set. I paid $2 for her and I am going to ask $15. She has her original, it's not focusing. There we go. Made in the Philippines sticker, which is fabulous. And uh, also, uh, these were still on the shelf. The Bahamas, two dolphins. Four dollars was a little much, but since they went down to two, I went ahead and picked them up. And uh, I'm going to ask fifteen dollars on these. I love brass. Look at the quality on this rocking horse. Just gorgeous. You can see the detail on his face. Slight patina showing the age. Gorgeous piece. I paid $5 for it and online these are right around $40 to $45. Back here we have another Starbucks mug. This is uh, an etched white piece, three dollars, uh, and online these are about twenty to twenty-five dollars. I believe these two pansy pieces to be vintage hand painted. They are not marked, but they do have a signature on the front here. I believe it says either S or J Adams and uh, they did absolutely lovely job with the brush strokes and the colors of the pansies. This one has a little bit of raised paint like a Moriyagi raised off the surface there. This one is flat but uh, it's the same artist. Adams right here. Again, not marked on the back. I paid $6 on both of these and uh, I expect to get 30 to 35 a piece. When I first saw this bowl, I thought it was an RS Prussia piece, but when I turned it over, it's actually Saxe Altenburg of Germany. Similar time frame. I paid $6 for it. And these, um, I value about 35 to 50. As you probably heard, as soon as I saw this finish, I knew uh, it was uh, Denby of England. The red with the speckled brown black color is very distinct. I paid $3 on the holly bowl and I expect to get $50 on this piece. These are quite exciting. Two Harley David motorcycles, um, fuel door covers here. I paid up a bit for these, $15 a piece, um, but I expect to get right around $50 a piece on these. These are super fun accent pieces. They have an African feel to them. They are carved and painted wood. Two oars, they would look fantastic on the wall. I paid $8 a piece for these and I expect to get $50 to $60 for the pair. Last but not least, we have my prize find here. I couldn't believe it, it was just sitting on the bottom shelf in all its glory. Absolutely fantastic. As expected, it does have a little bit of damage to the frilling, but that is nearly impossible uh, to avoid. This is a piece of Dresden lace, Capa de Monte. The quality is unmistakable. Look at the detail of her face and the detail of the lace. It is, it's hard lace, Capodimonte, 
and uh, it does have a few little dings but overall in fantastic shape. The roses on the piano are fine um, and the figures and the bass are in great condition. You can hear Ziggy rummaging in the newspaper behind me, that's what that is. I paid $15 on this and these pieces can sell for up in the hundreds of dollars. 300 possibly $400. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching my trip to Goodwill and the haul. Please stay tuned for some fun footage of Bear and Rio and, of course, Ziggy and Bandit and our hummingbirds in the garden. If you see anything you are interested in, please do send me an email thriftingvegas.tiffany at gmail.com. Please include your name, your address, the item you're interested in, and your offer. I will see you next time. Bye. Ziggy. Ziggy. Are you here? My parents are in town this week for Easter. We had a lovely Easter dinner. Chris made a gorgeous Egyptian salad to go with our salmon and vegetables. I hope you all had a very happy Easter. You ready, Bear? Come on, let's go. Look at Daddy. Go get him. Go get daddy, go get him. Go get daddy. Go. Let's go. Let's go.
Boy bear, good girl, good girl, we. <laughs> <laughs> Dusty dogs! <laughs> Come on, let's go! Okay, good boy, good girl. As you can see, almost flash flood weather. So we are going to need to get to higher ground pretty quickly. Otherwise, we are going to get caught in a river. Let's go guys. <laughs> 